request Professor Atwanker. We will be shortly joined by the minister, but we can go ahead at the same time. So, may I request Mr. Professor Atwanker now to make his presentation on reusing in your report? Yes, so would you like to do it from there? One of you here. Thank you for this uh, opportunity to make a presentation here. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, India report, which was presented by Charles Seams in 1958. Can I have the slides now? Uh, almost 55 years have passed since this report was written. Too many things have changed. Should I continue? Okay. Uh, a lot of things have changed in the past. For instance, uh, we were called a third world country earlier, then we became a developing economy, and now we are called as emerging market. We are also included part of BRICS countries. We have a young population and fairly large percentage of them. We also have an open market and globalization. Uh, uh, there are some visible changes too. For instance, uh, n nobody envisaged in 1958 that cities will grow to the extent that they have grown now. You can see the kind of problem that Bombay is facing, and sooner or later, other countries will also face, uh, other cities will also face. Nobody expected mobile to be that popular, and it's so powerful. Nobody expected internet to be so important and create communities which are virtual. Uh, what I'm going to do is to only talk about a very small part of it that changes that has affected design process, and that is the focus of the talk here. Uh, I start with uh, some interesting simple statements. For instance, most of the real world problems are considered as wicked problems. Okay? Uh, there are several tests for wicked problems. One of them is that you cannot understand the problem unless you discover a solution. Okay? And this is something which uh, uh, Horst Rittel came out with uh, from Berkeley. The second interesting test is that wicked problems have no correct solution, no true solution, no optimum solution. It has only good, bad, worse solutions. And it requires a very different way of handling wicked problems, and some of solutions have to be very inclusive in reach and inclusive in conceptualization process, and that's the problem I'll talk now. Uh, I thought I'll give you an example of a banking. This is not something which IDC has done, but uh, some other people have done it. Uh, there was an effort to bring banking to villages, and it has never succeeded because you could never have uh, the cost of transaction for a bank is so high that you could never deal with villagers who just save 20 rupees or 30 rupees and put it in the bank. Uh, this is an interesting solution that a company came out with, a, a Little World with SBI, and it's called as SBI Tiny, which has got a biometric reader, which has got a printer, which has got a, a small mobile phone, and a smart card. Uh, what is interesting about this solution is the transaction cost is less than a rupee. So it's possible now for people to put 20 50, uh, to 30 rupees in a bank and also withdraw them. The way it works is there's a, there are banking correspondents and agents who are appointed by state bank. They go to the villages at a fixed time, stand normally in a village panchayat or a school, and people come there and transact business. They either give money or take money from her. Uh, it's a very efficient and simple way of handling. Uh, that what is interesting about this project is that even the data was collected by villagers themselves. The villagers were trained by creating institutions which allow people to use this system quite effectively. So in the, uh, the banking correspondence as well as uh, the agents were trained, and it requires only three days of institutional training and two days of field training for them to operate in the field. Uh, what did I learn from this? The learning is that inclusive solutions demand extending the scope of design beyond products. It would mean designing institutions, it means designing services, and products form a part of that service. And this is increasingly true in the modern world. Second, most real problems are too complex for a single discipline to handle. You would find that they would probably not be able to do justice to that. Uh, we are currently working on uh, in villages in uh, near Bombay uh, with public health uh, centers. 
and uh, this is a TCS project. And we find that Maharashtra has a good system in place. And there are villages and there are Adivasis around. M main problem seems to be seem to be not the fact that doctors are not there, the medicines are not there, but the belief system that Adivasis have is so very different that the iron supplements which are given free to everybody who is uh, pregnant uh, ladies do not take them because they believe that the b bigger babies is more problem for them in terms of delivery. They do not give first two days, mother's milk is not given to the children because they feel that uh, their belief system doesn't permit them. The children are not even given clothes for the first five days, you know, just left the, as they are. So it's not that the solutions don't exist, the technology solutions, the medical solutions exist, but uh, the relationship between the people and the solution is not really working. Uh, what really happens in this is, uh, what you really need is a new inclusive thinking style and a new inclusive technologies, managers, policy makers, and social workers and designers come together, work with people to come out with ideas. And that's exactly what we are planning to do now. Uh, health sector kind of reacted to this in a very different way. They came out with a concept of what they call as community medicine. And there, were, there is a branch in medicine which deals with community medicine. It's also possible to look at this as a part of uh, engineering. Can, can there be a community design? Can there be a field? Uh, engineering labs, you know, which work with villages directly, and uh, it integrates people's problem in the educational process itself. If medicine can do it, so can we. I personally believe that hospital is a good metaphor for design schools. You know, the way hospi teaching hospitals work, maybe engineering and design universities should work like that. Uh, this would mean, I mean, one can simply put it saying this is just an interdisciplinary way of working, but this is not true. I've done a lot of interdisciplinary job, and there is a it looks simple on paper, but it's not easy to work in an interdisciplinary group at all. And let me explain you what kind of problems you face. Uh, I believe that our thought processes are controlled and constrained by the way we uh, are trained. And you know, the disciplines also tells you what you do and what you don't do. I'll give you a simple example of that. And that is uh, a problem of teaching simple arithmetic to children in school. Uh, a typically, a teacher would come out with teaching aids. IT person will come out with uh, uh, computer-based training, a TV broadcaster come out with his own programs, uh, a game designer would come out with something else. Uh, can I have that video? So one of my students, group of students came out with, uh, uh, you can see this on the screen, there's a game that is played in the villages. One member will throw the pebble to get the digit and other will take care of operator. Now let's play the game with number 29. So actually it is played by children and they learn the addition and the uh, process you itself. Can't use the same operator for two at a time. Okay. Uh, so the point that I'm making, we see solutions through our uh, uh, own discipline and everybody has his own solutions and they, they, it's not easy to work with an interdisciplinary team at all. One of the ways designers think is that we think in terms of reframing the question. And the way the students framed this question was, instead of teaching maths, can I make this as a play, you know? Can I see play as uh, the basic process and the process they learn? And that also can be done without hardware. Uh, okay, we have less time, so we'll just go a little faster. Uh, disciplines also try to simplify problems, you know? And one simple example of that is, uh, most of the problems are not that easy to simplify. Let's look at this problem. Uh, this happens in right in front of IIT in the main gate. You could see, can you have the video? I'll just show you for a quick two, one minute. To see this as a traffic problem or to see this as a policing problem is not right. This is almost everybody is trying to look at his own shortcut and that's the reason why this confusion gets created. So the point I'm trying to make is that tomorrow's solutions will likely to be conceived more as ecosystems where design of institutions, design of services and design of police, uh, po policies would become quite important and product will become part of that component. So 
my personal feeling is that engineering humanities management and uh, even ngos should come together to solve problems and this is not something which is easy in an academic environment i personally believe that new age design is somewhat like jamming in music you know where people sit together and work out solutions and not the traditional way where you have a orchestra and there is a conductor who sort of decides uh, what what to do i am not saying that that kind of design is not required uh, you can see some of the successful designers belong to that category steve job or frank gehry architect they are they produce iconic products through the process which is somewhat similar to kind of an orchestra where they decide every take every decision but more and more problems are of the kind where people have to get together and work together <laughs> so according to me tomorrow's design education would have to be something like sometimes you conduct an orchestra and sometimes you conduct a jamming session and students will have to be comfortable with both of these so if you are revisit re re revisiting india report one of the aspect that you would look at is the modern design process which is something quite different than what x i think uh, uh, i i would personally feel that we should consider that uh, education ministry has decided to close all the design schools and now there is a mandate to start something new what would that school be and that would be something quite different than what is existed now because existing thing has evolved over a period and it has its own baggage so how would we conceptualize a new school a few things that i could probably add is that we should explore uh, teach uh, a teaching hospital as a metaphor for design schools uh, which should all be, which has hands on project which has field experience which has theory built into it we should also look at joint faculty appointment between departments so that interdisciplinary work is far better and one probably one semester where people from engineering people from design people from management work together in a field to solve a problem and also research into managing of multidisciplinary teams particularly not co-located okay this is uh, roughly uh, this is what i had uh, to say thank you